you, Lord Jesus. Exodus chapter 33, one verse. Verse 11, it reads, And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaking unto his friend. And he turned again unto the camp. But his servant, Sebastian, his servant, Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. I want to use as a title to today's message, I stayed in God's face even when the great ones left. I stayed in God's face even when the great ones left. I stayed in his face even when the great ones left. When you get space with the Adams in God's presence, Longer than Moses, you got to be somebody. I mean, Moses was Mr. X. Moses was the man of the man, the man. Moses was the chosen one that God led to bring the children out of captivity from Egypt. Moses was the one that parted the Red Sea. Moses was the one that sat up there on the mountaintop and received the revelation from the Lord from the Ten Commandments. Moses was somebody special in God. The Bible declared that Moses was so special that God spoke to him face to face. Even as a man speaking unto his friend, Moses fasted one time and stayed before the presence of God for 40 days and 40 nights. But Moses never reached the promised land because he never got delivered from some of them same old problems that he had in his youth. He overreacted and got mad when Egyptian was fighting with an Israelite and he smoked the Israelite and God didn't tell him to do it. He got mad and overreacted when the children of Israel were disobedient and he smoked the rock twice and God didn't tell him to do it, maybe it was because he left the presence of God too soon. Oh my God. Joshua stayed in the presence of God. He stayed in the tabernacle. And Moses was talking to God face to face and he walked out. Don't leave the presence of God too soon. If you're not drunk in the spirit like they were in the book of Acts, then maybe you have left the presence of God too soon. A couple weeks ago, Sister Abbott again got through teaching the Wednesday night Bible study, and after the Bible study was over with, saints were still in the tabernacle, embracing the presence of God. But we got to do too much to stay in the presence of God. We got too many other things that we have to do. Moses had to go back to the camp. And this is why a lot of us as preachers and teachers and pastors and apostles and bishops, we miss God because we got too much ministry to do. Well, God got somebody else that just stand in his presence. God got somebody else that ain't got someplace else to go. God got somebody else that ain't got someplace to be here. God got somebody else that's just dwelling right there in his presence. Let me give you rules to the game of staying in God's presence, number 125. Rules to the game of staying in God's presence, number 125. No one can tell you to leave the presence of God, but your own flesh. It's your own flesh that tells you, I got to get up from prayer. It's your own flesh that tells you, Moses said, I got to get back to the camp. It's your own flesh that causes you to say, I got something else. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to do, I got to do, I got to be, I got to be. It's your own flesh that tells you what you got to do. Some people, they come to prayer, they can't sit still. Because they spirit, I got to do, I got to do, I got to do. Peace the computer, I got to do, I got to, I got, I got, I got, I got to do. Moses 
is by and leave it fighting with our spouse. Because we left the presence of God too soon. That's why we can leave church and go straight to the dope man. Because we left the presence of God too soon. That's why we can leave church and go straight to the heathen, the Gentile, and lay up in the bed with God. Because we left the presence of God. When you leave the presence of God, there's a sign that you got a problem.
Our problem is we go crazy over the prophets and the evangelists, but the next great ones go crazy only over God. Moses didn't get his anointing chasing men on Facebook. He got it by peeping in the burning bush. He got it by chasing after the hem of his garment. But in today's society, we fall in love with the preacher. We fall in love with the names. But to really be great in God, you got to be like Joshua was. Moses is my man, but I ain't leaving the presence of God. I love Moses, but if Moses were a backslide, I'm still in the presence of God. If Moses were to die tomorrow, I love him, but I need the presence of God. I can't move from the presence of God. Where is your spirit of, I want some of that? Where is your spirit? That's why I love our little children, because they, they got that, I want some of that. I'll get into that a little bit later. We so caught up in being in awe over that, but we lose the knowledge that I can have some of that. We get caught up on this person, and that person, and that person. Where is something in you that says, I want some of what they got to me? Say, I need some text, some text, some text. Second Kings 2 and 9. Second Kings 2 and 9. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said to Elijah, ask what I shall do for thee before I take, be taken away from thee. And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. Joshua, I need some more text. Some more text. Isaiah 61 and 7. For your shame, you shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in the land they shall possess the devil, the double, everlasting joy shall be unto them. You mean to tell me all the hell you done been through? You just gonna leave the devil on the table? You ain't gonna just go for the devil and, and God said the devil is yours? I mean, the devil is yours? You're not gonna redeem the devil? You're not gonna walk in that thing for the devil. I just see some folks way less guilty than some of y'all since the house. Possess the devil. Way don't have nothing that y'all got naturally in the Holy Spirit. But the problem is they had a desire to say, I want more. Why don't you want to be great? Why don't you want to do something great for God? Some more text, some more text. I need some more text. First Samuel 18 and 7. First Samuel 18 and 7. And the women answered one another as they played and said, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his tens of thousands. Thank God that David just wasn't a fan of Saul's. Thank God that David, being a shepherd boy, didn't come into the kingdom in so much hope that he did not remember that what God has done for others, he can do the same for me too. How to become a king or queen? Rule to the game one on one. How to become a king or queen? Rule to the game one on one. How does a shepherd boy become a king? By not becoming a fan, but becoming the man. You can't become a fan of anybody. See, everybody else, when my pastor was preaching, they was hooping and hollering at my pastor. But I was hooping and hollering, but I also was taking my notes. So you got my pastor on the screen. You got a photo of my pastor on the screen. Well, everybody else was hooping and hollering since then. I was hooping and hollering. But when Paul Coleman was preaching, I was taking my notes. I was a heathen boy from Orange Mound, not knowing no scripture. But I was a student, and I said to myself, if I could go to college and take notes for a worldly professor, and that word that the professor teaches is only going to last to this exam, surely I can take notes from the everlasting life from what God has given my pastor in all of his years of experience. All of this knowledge, all of this training experience, I can get it in one message. 
I said, God, there's a deal I can't refuse. There's a deal I can't refuse. What's the diet tonight, tonight, tonight? What's the diet, what's the diet tonight? What's the diet tonight? What's the diet tonight? Oh my God, she's awesome, look at her, she's awesome, look at her. She's awesome, look at her. Look at her, she's running around. Look at her, running around. Now, remember what I told you all. Say, you got a cat record? You got a cat record? Right? I see a cat record. Remember what I told you? Put on your, just go, just go there and tell her. Remember what I told you all? Now, she's only 10 years old. She's only 10. That's why I love, I love our children in the church. She's only 10. But she's so far ahead of the average female already. Because remember what I told y'all she said at 10 years old? She said, I'm going to be a pastor and a first lady. No. 
Ami and Ayana did this. I said, wow. You did that for free. Sometimes you ought to be able to hook up yourself. Sometimes you ought to be able to go in your own closet without going into the mall and just hook up yourself. God, through the power of the Holy Ghost. Back to the text. Back to the text. Exodus 33 and 11. And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaking unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp. But his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. Never be afraid to be in the presence of God all by yourself. Because that's where the great ones are molded. Nobody was with David when he was a shepherd boy. Nobody was with Ruth when she was working in the cornfield by herself. Nobody was with Paul when he was alone on the road to Damascus. Nobody was with Hannah when she was fighting and traveling against Penina all by herself. Nobody was with Jacob when he wrestled with the angel into the brink of day. Nobody was with Mary when the angel came and said, Hail Mary, thou art blessed and highly favored among women. And by the way, you got to have a baby and ain't no man touched you. Nobody was with the Queen of Sheba when she made a trip to go check on Solomon. Nobody was with Jonah when he was stuck in the belly of the whale. Nobody was with Nehemiah when he went to the king and he asked for permission to build the wall. No one was with the woman at the well when she ran into Jesus. Nobody was with Jesus when he was walking on water. Some breakthroughs you won't get until you buy your God's face is important to me. God's face is important to me. It's called the face of God's favor. Moses had it. He was face to face with God until he left. Now watch this. God didn't leave Moses. Moses left the presence of God himself. Take the text, the text, the text. Exodus 33 and 11. Watch this. And the Lord speaking to Moses face to face as a man speaking unto his friend. And he turned again to the camp. But the servant Joshua, the son of Nun, the young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. Tells about I got favor because I stayed in his face. Now I'm going to give you face of favor, principle number 101. Face of God's favor, principle number 101. If this don't blow your mind, nothing will. My pastor, you say, Brother Morris has said it. When you stay in his face, you always take the place of the people who left. I don't care who they are. I don't care how great they are. I don't care what well accomplishments they've had. I don't care how gifted ability they have. When you stay in God's face, you always take the place of the person that left. <laughs> Come this way, get you a chair. 
That's what it gets you a chair. Broke cord gets you a chair. Says the piano gets you a chair. But Ricardo come get you a chair. Now we all in the presence of God. Everybody's in the presence. No more chairs. Slide. Like, like if he got a chair, he's standing in the presence of God. We all in the presence just rebelling in the presence of God. Well, then I got to pick up the kids from school. It's 3 o'clock, I see. She got to go. But Ricardo, what time your next load is? It's 6 o'clock. You got to go. Got to go. Miss, when you say you got to go to the beauty shop, what time you get your What time you get your Four o'clock, it's four o'clock, you got to come. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm still praying this early in the morning. What time you got to be at school? She got to go. 7.30, you got to come. Oh. Miss Sam, I think I got to prison, Miss Sam, I got to go with her. I got to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think I go across the bridge and say, what time? Check on. What time? Got to go. Corey got season tickets to the, to the bridge. Because if I think it needs me, baby. Longer than me. They may gossip more than me. They may bet by more than me. But they're not going to stay in my daddy's presence longer than me. They're not going to witness longer than me. They're not going to be in his presence longer than me. Our problem is we've had enough of God. Our problem is we had enough. But some of us want the overflow. My glass is full, but I need my God to keep pouring on me. I need my cup to run over. Here's the number one question for your protection. Number one. The number one question for your protection in your selection. The number one question for your protection in your selection. How are you going to stand there and just watch somebody else pass you by? Because they've been in the presence of God. But now all you had to do was stay there. But you decided to leave on your own. How you gonna stand there and just let somebody else pass you by? With all your gifts and all your potential, the calling that God has on your life, how you just gonna watch that? I ran into a couple of saints last week. I couldn't remember some ways a couple of saints. I said, wow, 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 wow. How are you just going to give away all this anointing that you see God's pouring out on his people? It's good, huh? How are you just, how are you just going to stand there and watch what could be yours as well? Just pour it out on somebody else. With all you got to do is stay in the presence. Favorology, Bible 121. Favorology. 
Favorology. Favorology. Favorology. Oh, 121. The amount of your favor is calculated by the amount of time you spend with God. Uh, 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 the amount of your favor is always calculated by the amount of time that you spend with God. And here goes Moses saying, Joshua, I'm about to go. Joshua, he said, he said, Joshua, I got to go. And he go Joshua down at the altar by himself at that. Guess what he doing? Moses Joshua, said, Joshua, I got to go. He was waving them off. Waving them off. I master waving people off. I master waving people off. I master letting them go on. To let them go to the next side while I keep going to another level. You got to have a master's degree in waving people off. When they got to go to the game, and they got to go to the show, and they got to go to the airport, and they got to go to A, B, C, and D, you got to be able to wave them off. Tell somebody, I know how to wave people off. Can I give you the last thought? That must be time. Face of favor. Face of God's favor. Thought 119. Face of God's favor, thought 119. You can find no greater peace than when you already are where you want to be. Amen. Joshua found his sweet spot in God. Joshua didn't have to go anywhere. Why? Because he was already where he wanted to be. See, when you are already where you want to be, people can't Jesus went to the 